discovered laser beams, the radio, neon lights, the induction motor, dematerialization devices, remote controlled torpedo boats? Would you believe that they were all discovered before the turn of the century and all by one man? His name is Nikola Tesla. A world famous figure throughout the Gilded Age, living among the 400 at the Waldorf Astoria, this great Serbian American died in virtual obscurity, although he was the undisputed inventor of the polyphase alternating current system, which lies at the heart of our industrial electronic age. Before Tesla's creation, electricity could only be sent about a mile. After him, it could be transported hundreds of miles. Armed with the great secret of this invention, the young college-educated Serbian came to America to work for the wizard of Menlo Park, Thomas Edison, the greatest inventor of all time. Edison, quite content with direct current, would hear none of the young visionary's discussion of what Edison thought were dangerous alternating currents. A bitter dispute arose over promised monies that were never delivered, and Tesla quit. Soon after, in 1888, Tesla built a working model of the induction motor and the 40 patent AC polyphase system and sold it to George Westinghouse for $1 million plus royalties. Battling Edison in the War of the Currents, Westinghouse was able to implement the Tesla system at the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. This mammoth undertaking, which comprised almost 10 square miles of buildings, parks, canals, and bridges, stood along Lake Michigan. Over 20 countries, including Germany, England, Spain, Ceylon, East India, and Siam, participated in this landmark exposition, which celebrated not only the 400th anniversary of the discovery of America, but also the new and spectacular age of technology. For the first time, the United States proclaimed itself a superpower. 